In order to make a new pull request for a GitHub repository, we first need to add some content to a branch. We'll do that by checking out and creating a new branch, like in our first command here. Then we will add a file to this branch, and we will commit some text into that. Okay, this is some text. And once we add those files and stage them for a commit, we will create a commit, and then we will push that to our new branch. Once pushed, let's head over to GitHub and see how this looks. As you can see, we are currently viewing our master branch, but if we switch to our new branch, we will be able to see our new code with our new commits. So in order to combine these, in order to um, create that pull request, we can simply come up here to compare and pull request. For here, we will compare from our master branch, which is behind our new branch because we have those new commits. We can create a message for this, just a quick summary. So adding files, we'll say, this is for my tech snips video. Once I'm satisfied with my comments, we can go ahead and click create pull request. Here, GitHub does have some integrations in order to see if the branch can be merged automatically. Since this is a pretty simple repository, it is able to be merged. You can also add some continuous integration in order to run unit tests before you might merge them into a production branch. But for our purposes, we will go ahead and merge the pull request. From here, we can just click Confirm Merge and if we wanted to, we could even delete the previous branch that we created. In order to confirm that our code is now up to date, let's go back to our code menu. And you can see that we are on master. We have my most recent commit of adding files. Thanks for watching.